lots of incident in the old firm game at Ibrox yesterday that finished 3-3. Let's start with the penalty that Celtic were given in the first half, Dermot, for a handball from Conor Golson. Good intervention. See, the referee can't sit on the field. You actually see he does lifts his arm up here. And there's no doubt in my mind he puts his arm towards the ball. John Beaton goes to the screen, sees it, comes back, simulates exactly what he did, shows he taps him on the elbow. <sighs> Stephen, what's he doing with his arm there? Well, he's lifting it high and <laughs> balling it, Rob. <laughs> well, um, but, no, my, my, my point was, why is he doing I, that? I think, I think because he's thinking he's either going to be getting someone coming in and challenging him, so he's trying to protect himself. I think it's very similar to the, what the, the Dan Byrne one before, where, when you jump, you, you don't jump with your arms by your side. You always jump with a physical aspect, thinking there's going to be contact from somewhere. And I think that's exactly what he was thinking. But, listen, he's made an error, hasn't he, and gets caught out. Yeah, I wonder as well, is he trying to keep his arm tucked in? You know, so is he thinking, well, if my arm's tucked in, then and it does hit my arm, then maybe that's not going to get given. But I think because of the position that his arm's in, it was always going to... So I think sometimes now defenders are defending differently in terms of their arm position and body position because they're, they're worried, aren't they, about things getting given? Oh, he talks he about. There, he? Oh, sorry. He does, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Dermot. Um, we talked about an incident with, with Ben White a little bit earlier on. Uh, Fabio Silva involved in something in terms of does he need to make quite as much of an issue of a little coming together with Alistair Johnston? What do you reckon? This was a really, really interesting situation, wasn't it? Because has he been punched in the face? I think Alistair Johnston has almost put his arms up to block him off. There. I think he's. It's almost like he's put his arms up, he knows he's going to, there's going to be a collision, puts his arms almost to brace himself, if you like, but he certainly doesn't commit an act of violent conduct. Sue? So? Yeah, I agree with Dermot. Yeah, I don't think there was, there was any sort of intention there. I think it, he was blocking him off, wasn't he? But I don't feel that he was, he was trying to sort of punch him in the face. Um, so, yeah, I agree with that. This one's perhaps the bigger one, though Fabio Silva once again involves, booked initially on field for simulation, eventually overturned and, and given as a penalty. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting clip, Rob, in so much as he gets a yellow card for simulation. When you see it again, you see the, the angle. Uh, Alistair Robertson lifts his leg, catches him on the knee. It's a penalty. So the referee then uh, has an even bigger dilemma because of the pressure he's put on. He goes to the screen, he comes back, he, the yellow card for simulation is overturned, he gives a penalty. Um, but. Then it ramps up because the Rangers players say, well, Alistair Roberts has already had a yellow card, he should get a second one. Johnston. Uh, Alistair Johnston, sorry. Um, should have a second yellow card, but for me it's a foul. It's, it's just a foul, it's not a second yellow card. So it's not a red card. And they can't, they can't go back and give Johnston a yellow card. Well, could they give him a yellow card? He goes to, screen, goes to screen, he has all options. So he can do that, yeah. So he, he can come back and yellow card him. But I don't think it's a yellow card challenge. I think it's a foul. Yeah, no, I think it's a, a good decision yeah. uh, to be able to come to that, but that's where that's where we want VAR to step in, don't we? So, yeah, good decision. Sue? Yeah, completely agree, because initially you could understand maybe the referee sort of thinking that he, he had gone down too easily, but then you can clearly see it when he goes over to the screen, you can see the connection, 100% a penalty and, and good decision. The interesting thing there is you've got a complete pendulum swing, haven't you? You've gone the referee going, no foul, yellow card simulation, to actually going the other way, yeah, penalty. To think if you'd then gone penalty, second yellow, red card, that would be such a massive swing. But I don't think it is a second yellow card, but you can imagine the swing if you did. Massive swing as well in terms of Rangers thinking that they'd equalise. But again, John Beaton goes to the monitor. A foul is given. I think it's 15 seconds before the goal is scored. What do you reckon? Well, they travel a long way. Um, they have a lot of time to reset. I know they, they don't get the ball back, but the referee goes to the screen and decides it's uh, a foul. I don't think there's any doubt it's a foul. It's a matter of, is that foul in the immediate build-up? Is that foul in the attacking phase? The VAR felt, felt it was. Sends John Beat to the screen for the third time in the match. Um, I don't think we'd argue it's a foul. It's, it's just, is it re-refereeing? That, that, that's the big problem, isn't it? Yeah. The re-refereeing of the game. Um, I think that's the, the hard bit to, to understand here. Just, can I just go off the track a little bit here? You do what you want. So, you, Rob asked you the question before about um, the Liverpool and Manchester United game and, and what's your thought press, process going into that game. I, I watched the start of this game and Carter Vickers was... Um, he kicked a ball away. And we talked about last week about Anthony Gordon kicking a ball away. And... 
and I listened to the commentary and they said they're reluctant to give a yellow card because of the magnitude of the game. And I think, what's the law? Mm. And then Carter Vickers then made another foul. And I'm thinking, he should have been sent off. He should be off the pitch already. But is that something again that was probably talked about before the game of this magnitude, being in the stadium, being the, the sort of uh, the pressure on the game? I think there's a few issues there. Firstly, that he'd go into that game, as I said earlier, he wouldn't want a technical yellow card. He'd, yeah. he'd want the players to uh, not put him in that position. And I say put him in that position because he's ma if Carter Vickers gets a yellow card then, he's massively under pressure, the yeah. player and himself. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the second issue is you can't ever say he would have been sent off a second yellow card because he didn't get the first one. Of course. So yeah. it's the wrong way round. If, if the other way round, I, I accept that. But you are right that you don't want that to happen. And if it happens, you've got to deal with it.